Hi, I'm Steve from RC Boat Company. We carry several 1-8 scale hull kits which can make many different and limited hydroplanes. Today I want to talk to you about our SG-118H hull kit. Uh, it's number 8701 from the Master Hull Roster and I'm going to explain to you some of the features about this hull today. This is the Lexan Canopy which comes with your kit and what you do is you just take a pair of scissors and you would cut and trim this to fit to this cockpit and also up to your cowling. You have a Lexan driver which you can epoxy. This is the, the cockpit tray and what you will do is you paint the back side of your driver. You can epoxy them in there. You can put a piece of foam behind him for flotation and we're going to show you, we're going to take a close up and show you underneath this here because this is the radio box also underneath the cockpit. Okay, here's the canopy that you're going to cut. There's your Lexan driver that you need to epoxy in and paint them from the underside. Here's the cockpit tray and also I would put a piece of foam just behind it uh, this way to help for flotation so you don't lose it. Now underneath built into the hull is your this is your radio box area right here and right now it comes solid when you get to boat so what you would do is you would leave about a half inch line all the way around and cut this out which gives you an opening to the inside there once you cut that open um, you would take some foam and epoxy it all the way around on the inside sealing up your radio box also to um, you could put a wood bulkhead across there so this way when you put your push rod seals in you have something to fasten them to when you have your, your rubber boots on there to make that nice and watertight. So just to go over this area right here, it is, actually has a little step down in it and I supplied this piece of Lexan which you would put on here. It has blue film over top of it just to protect it and you would just fit that in there and then you would run your tape over top of that and that would make your radio box. All right, now we're going to move into the engine well and when I build these boats I give you an option I can build it with one 16 ounce fuel compartment which this one has is one 16 ounce and then some of the guys that build these boats will put one four ounce right in front of the radio box. There's room because when you where your radio box ends, there's probably about a good three inches in there and guys will put a four ounce tank up front there. Or, if you like, I can make two 12 ounce fuel compartments, be it a 12 ounce tank right here and a 12 ounce tank right there. So either way, you just let me know when you order your haul which, which you prefer. Okay, here's the close up of the 12 ounce fuel compartment, which is right here. This is a brass water line that's installed in the boat for your coolant. And this right here is several layers of carbon fiber. And what that is for is instead of putting wood in the hull, I put several layers of carbon fiber. You can drill and actually tap right into that to put your fastener on for your cowling. And there's one also on this side which will spin, spin the boat around. You can take a look at that as well. We turned the boat around. Now you can see the carbon fiber. This is reinforcement where you can drill and tap for your fastener for the cowling. This side is solid now, but if you went with the two 12 ounce tanks, there would be another opening over here for your other fuel compartment. And over here is your water outlet. I also installed the braces for your wings. These are made out of carbon fiber. They're epoxy to the top of the hull deck and they're also epoxy to the bottom of the hull and when you take when you build your wings you just slide them right over here drill a hole through them through the carbon fiber and that's how you attach the bottom of the wing um, I use 440 nylon screws to go through there uh, it's a breakaway so this way in a event of somebody running into you or blow over any kind of crash the wings will just simply come apart and this way you won't have minimal damage. You'll just break a little nylon screw. Here's a close-up of the turnfin area. Now what you can't see is this aluminum piece 
that eye epoxy in there, which is a quarter inch thick. You just simply drill and tap into it and mount your bracket there. The black that you see along here is all carbon fiber and that's reinforced to make this area that much stronger. The black that you see on here, this is carbon fiber on the bottom of the sponsons from top all the way from the front of the sponson all the way to the back is carbon fiber. This top area is carbon fiber. This black tube is 3 8 carbon fiber tube that runs all the way across that connects both sponsons and the center cockpit and this is all epoxy together for strength. This whole kit also comes with other pieces for you to assemble such as the saltwater snorkel, the cowling, turbine shroud, the tray, the turbine tube, the front canards, and also a complete wing set. That was general information on our SG-118H hull kit. Uh, keep in mind that you can make many other boats with this hull. For example, I can build this hull without the wing tiplets and I can send pieces to shorten up the pickle fork. It can come with different cowlings, so you can make many, many other different boats. So you can email me if you have any questions at info at rcboatcompany.com. Thank you very much.